I f hate reading. Rarely have I watched an anime that was so enthralling, so enticing that I voluntarily went out of my way to read the manga. There are only three. Three anime that have made me read. One, Jujutsu Kaisen. Two, One Punch Man. And three, Attack on Titan. All shows that are certifiably goaded and throated. But would you believe that a sports anime actually made it on that list? I didn't either, because to be honest with you, I don't know what made me want to read Blue. Read the manga. Wh what was that? Read the manga. Who's there? Who said that? Read the manga. 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 Hey, I, I think I want to read the manga. <laughs> who, who are you? I am Fred Coon. I am here to tell you to read the manga. Yes, Fred Coon. Very good, my child. Reading is a privilege. Knowledge is power. Wow. Also, I'm sick and tired of you fucks trying to spoil the series in the comments. Like, how do you type out the fucking spoiler and then put the warning in the end? Anyway, I finally read the Blue Lock manga. And probably caught up to 151 chapters in two days. So, I guess this series is pretty decent. And today, I'm here to pass the divine knowledge of our lord and savior, Fred Kuhn. And hopefully convince you to read the manga. Now don't worry, I won't spoil anything for you because, trust me, you're gonna want to experience everything that's about to happen with a fresh pair of eyes. Kicking it off, I just want to say that the anime is doing an incredible job at adapting the source material. Like, some of the stills in the anime look almost identical to the manga. I believe that depending on how many episodes you've watched in the anime so far, yes, I initially thought that the season was over, and yes, I thought it was only 12 episodes long, even though I explicitly stated in the last video that I was wrong, so stop commenting that I'm wrong, then you can probably pick up where you left off in the anime anime and continue on with the manga from there. You're really not losing much value from doing that, in fact, that's what I did too. I watched all the way up to episode 14, which is the latest episode, and then picked up the manga at around chapter 52. Also, and this is just a bonus, if you're someone who has a lot of time on their hands, <laughs> then you can choose to watch both the anime and read the manga at the same time. The reason for this is because sometimes when I'm reading the manga, which as you know are just drawings, they're just, they're just drawing. I tend to get lost in the kind of movement that the players do. So for example, if someone like Bachira does a roulette, or Nagi does a trick shot, or just anyone does any kind of dynamic movement, sometimes I get confused as to which direction they're actually going, or what they're really trying to do. So having the visual aid from the anime really helps to put that into perspective, and makes me appreciate it even more. Don't get me wrong, I think the author does a very good job at making the scenes as dynamic as possible, but when you're as brain rotten from TikTok and YouTube shorts as me, and don't have a single shred of imagination in your bones, then having the anime there is very beneficial to enjoying the series in my opinion. However, there is one thing that the manga does very often throughout the series that I thought was just so funny that it had to be mentioned. It genuinely made reading the manga so much more enjoyable to me. If you've read the manga before, then you'd know that I'm of course talking about the crazy one-liners that the players say from time to time. Again, no spoilers here, but I think these lines are just so wild and ridiculous that even if I read it out loud, without the context, you wouldn't even understand it. You ready? <clears throat> Just trading passes in the middle isn't gonna cut it. You're lost with nowhere to pass to. Kiss my ass, eye bags. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the seriousness of the situation for me. And then the sudden just direct insult to this person's face. Huh, that was a bad pass. You should just give up right now. Suck my dick. What? You ugly son of a bitch, motherless fuck. Whoa, just... Just take it easy, man. Stupid ass motherfucker, waste of oxygen piece of sh. <laughs> Here's another one that just cracks me up every time I read it. Aw, oh, yeah. Here comes the dopamine. I'm gonna come. Shit, that's the stuff. And then. <laughs> and then his teammate says, We've only tied the game. Don't blow your load yet. How? How do they come up with this shit? I, I swear, you could copy paste this on a doujin or H manga and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Stuff like this is just sprawled throughout the entire manga. Welcome to the battlefield. Hey bitch, you scored one measly goal and died. You're all changed and all that edgelord shit. You annoying brain dead midget. Wait, wait. <laughs> 
that's not what he said. Braid-headed midget is what he meant to say. D don't cancel me, please. And honestly, it even gets poetic at times. The time to dream is now. Fall under my spell. My oh my, am I Cinderella now? All these lines are just so extra and over the top, borderline cringy, but it somehow works for the manga. I think it's because no one's actually saying these things out loud. You know what I mean? Like when you're reading it on a book or a manga, it feels less uh, real. Like we're just reading it in our heads, so we tend to be more forgiving when the dialogue is like excessive. But I think that's why some people, not me by the way, I find it very enjoyable, but some people think the anime is too cringy because there are real people, real life voice actors saying these types of lines and it just doesn't translate well to visual media as compared to written media. So if there are any of you that found the anime to be too cringy, maybe give the manga a try. Now this next part is me being more nitpicky picky and honestly just a personal preference. In terms of the art style, I think the manga is superior to the anime. Now hear me out, I don't believe this is a fair comparison in any way shape or form because animating just this single play alone takes considerably much more time and effort compared to drawing out the scene in the manga. And I've already said this in the last video and in this video, the animation for this show is nothing short of top tier. So if you're using that as an argument for which is better, it's really not that strong of an argument since there's such a big gap in the production process. That being said though, you simply can't ignore the amount of detail the author and his people put into the manga. Like man, look at this shit. This is a thing to behold. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Wrong slide. That is a thing to behold though. See, here we go. Even if I can't fully appreciate the movements and stuff, I can most definitely tell when it comes to the action shots. It's just beautiful is what it is. The amount of anatomical knowledge you need to make sense of this shot is insane. Big ups to the manga for that. Now for the thing that slightly bothered me about the manga is how it takes a tad long to finish one game. Again, this is completely my subjective opinion, but I thought one of the games in particular was a bit drawn out. Again, Without a doubt, it was hype as hell. But if it's gonna take like 30 chapters to finish just this one game, I can't imagine what it must have felt like to wait for a chapter release every week for 30 weeks straight. I binged the whole series in two days, and even this one game felt a bit longer than usual. Maybe it was because there were too many important people in one game, so the author had to give all of them their time to shine, but eh, I still enjoyed it. By the way, I'm gonna make other videos too other than Blue Lock, so stay tuned for that too. Anyway, I believe I've made my case for why you should pick up the manga, and if you agree with me, make sure to let me know. If you disagree, let me know as well. God knows it's better than those comments that are like, Haha, <laughs> title, Blue Lock is not a sports anime. Karu, Blue Lock is a sports anime. Over and over again. I get it. Stay mad. Stay molding, kid. You're just helping me boost the algorithm, loser. Alright, promise me you'll watch my other videos, alright? Okay, see ya. Bye-bye.